The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in the steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and he struck his victim with a rock. Beat his ass. Well, this is a nice rug. This is a lovely rug. It Can you please do something? Can you please do something about the freaking slugs? Museum. I'm gonna, God, I'm gonna mm, just fucking step on it. God, it's gross. Anything? Anything? Yep. Anything? Yep. Admittedly, viewers from uh, my uh, previous encounters with this game, for some reason, everybody who decides to play this game is a fuck you, is a rude cock and comes in here and does things like this and just leaves. Quite frankly, it's unacceptable, but for the sake of this argument, I'm going to do it. Just this one time. Just this one time. Anything? Catalogs. I'm gonna leave that open because I have no idea where I am yet. It's a sign. Like that. Ah, I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my fr my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian royal court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Jeresh? Jurich? Jurich? Jurch? Some, something. We're just gonna call him Gerald. We're gonna call him, he, he's from the House of Gerald. I don't need, I don't need more any books. Get out of here, chair! Ah, tinderbox. Sweet. Close it. Close it. Okay. Anything? Okay. Anything on the desk? No. Yeah. Alright. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm going this way. I don't care. I'm going this way. Wait, actually, I probably should go that way. I just have this feeling, you know? It's the what? The study. Oh shit! Oh crap! I found a lantern oil! Okay. Alright, now I need to be like super stingy, I guess. Anything? No. Anything? No. Anything? Uh, anybody need a clean pair of shirts? Uh, I need lantern oil, like super bad. Nothing? Ah, well, tender box, that works. Yeah, close that. Anything? Anything? No. 17th of May, 
Definitely sounds like your average Monday. Okay. Oh, this friggin' sucks. Oh, this sucks. What's well, I'm not supposed to do that? Oh. Did I like bust a vase that had like the ashes of my great great dead uncle Jeff in it. Damn it. Oh now I feel like an asshole. What's this? Old tomes. It's super dark in here, Barbara. Barbara? Stop doing that! Um... Your, uh, your piano playing skills are lovely, but it's uh, definitely not what I needed to hear right now. But thank you. Thank you! Please! Damn it. Can you not, please? Jesus. Can you not? Can you not? Can you, I will throw this box at you. Alright, box. You're going to protect me. You're going to keep me safe. No. This makes me furious! Hmm. Bitch! Whoever was originally on that boulder got fucked. I don't necessarily have a bag of Milky Ways. So, I mean, if I had a bag of Milky Ways, I would share a bag of Milky Ways, but I don't have a bag of Milky Ways. If I were you, I'd fuck off. 
Can I possibly, like, burn the paper? Can I do that? Can I burn the paper? And, like, use the paper as, like, a light sort? Uh, that's stupid. Oh, what's in there? Floor plans. Hello? What's this? Apps. Hello? Hello? Oh my god! What did you do? What did you do for fuck's sake? Ah. Uh, my life just gets better and better and better. What's this bullshit? Fragile, not breakable by hand. That's great. That's nifty. That's awesome. Come in here. Well, doesn't this look not familiar? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Tinderbox! Sweet! Get in there. Open. Algebra. Yep. yep. Central Russia. Kingdom of Prussia. Okay. Can I read these? Can I read these? Nope. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, it was laced with acid! Oh, God! 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry. But I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Yep. It was waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. No, actually, technically I'm not, but you won't let me turn the other way. And for the record, I'm holding shift down because I want to sprint to my impending doom. I'm brave! I chased this head on! Am I like technically outside or whatever? I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiral towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most Peculiar. Can we stop with the freaking piano? Please. Please. Please don't squeeze the Beethoven. Much of the castle is old and has been tended for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We just mind time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the boards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk that everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Alright, moving on. Don't think there's anything left in here. Nope. Can't open. I need what? So let's take this chair. Um, 
I'm not gonna ask how the hell a chair was technically able to break through a brick wall. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? No, of course not. Absolutely not. There's a door mechanism in this the history room. Is that where I am right now? Am I technically in the history? Yep. It was already broken. It's another algebra broke. Yep, neat. Dad and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Aldstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the helmet, the hamlet, and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet, the quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is a picturesque as it can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motives to keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the uh, Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to be following some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside the deep burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? I uh, think I technically just fucked that up. No, it's... Yep, I did indeed. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited the Aldstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glaze, only to never be seen again. How typical. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Green Grinold, Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what exactly happened to him? The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family in his, at his castle nearby. Altstadt, and like most of these noble birth rumors, are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century, it was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the uh, Rhinelands, claiming the role of protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region and flourish remain the popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been the uh, secretive when it comes to the uh, lineage, lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. Go figure. This has fed the idea that the Baron is, in fact, the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with great leaders of this country. So, in other words, he's an immortal old bastard who needs to be put in his place. I guess I could understand that. I mean, you know, I have a slight headache. Hey, can we, can we not? Can we, can we, can we, can we work on this? Can we, can we please work on this? Can, can we? Fuck's sake! Okay, there's a thing. There's a thing. Somewhere there's a thing. I'm assuming it's like a secret book.
So. There we go. I'm a genius. Not really. Wait. I'm just going to assume that was bad. I'm just gonna assume that was really bad. I hear rocks. I hear bugs. I hear shit me no likey. Going out, balls deep. Alright, we're good. Regarding the closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent, absent-minded handling of human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing many trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail of Brennenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first. They can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. What, getting them drunk is a good thing? I mean, like, I guess. I mean, I mean, a normal person wouldn't really want to get your prisoners drunk because reasons, I guess. But, uh, I mean, if, if you insist, I mean... Yeah. Alright, I, I seriously need to, like, get a grip, because sanity is a problem. Is a problem. God. No, guys. Okay, so apparently I can't go back. Sweet. Awesome. Light. Oh my god! Yep. Yep. Oh. I got a story that'll waggle your eyes. I got a burger and a thingy of fries. I think we disguise our lives when we speak, but we show it with what we eat. We defeat eternal demons with heaps of internal shitty meat.